And boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm for the Classic and welcome to Pin Charts. So today, what I have in here is Fast and Furious Crossroads, I'm not really sure why I'm testing this. I will be talking a little bit about the studios a little bit more forward and the engine of the game, but first let's get direct, uh, very directly to, do, to the matter. So I will be playing this game at 1280 per 768 instead of 720p, because 720p resolution doesn't exist on this game for some reason. I will be using the minimum settings, which is the very low presets, which is a little bit potato. Alright, so looking to the requirements, you can see that this game asks for an i5 from the 3000 generation, 8 gigs of RAM, so until now it is fine, until we get here. So it asks as a minimum a, a GTX 680. So yes, it is an old generation, but still it was a high-end card, so probably the game it is asking way too much for the minimum and even for the recommended you can see that these guys are asking for a, an RTX 280 so oh my god this guy it is, I mean this game it is really asking too much and as expected the performance it isn't really great on this game so I got an average of 37 frames per second with a maximum of 60 with a 1% low of 24 which means that in some times depending on the type of mission if it is day and night or the particles that are in the middle of the air uh, the performance can drop below 30 frames per second and this is not exactly a good thing for a racing game, but this is not exactly a racing game. So, let's now talk about the developers. The developers behind this game are in fact two different developers. We have Slightly Mad Studios, which is responsible for Project Cars and Need for Speed Shift, which is a little bit weird to see them involved uh, in this game, because they always strive to make simulation games, and it is a little bit weird to see them uh, present in the development of an arcade -ish game and to be even more weird this role that you are seeing here exists in project cards not entirely the same thing but if you played project cards i'm pretty sure you will remember this track from the custom tracks it is one of the most demanding tracks of the game and it is clearly some of the assets are clearly from project cards in here so it's weird my not, my i mean that involvement in the game might be related with maps, I hope so, because there is another developer that are involved in this game, which is a Tygon Studios, and the Tygon Studios, even more weirdly, it is a studio that was created by Vin Diesel himself. So I didn't even knew that Tygon Studios was created by Vin Diesel himself, because Tygon Studios already developed games where featured Critic, I mean, what features Vin Diesel himself, like for example, Chronicles of Riddick, we have The Wheelman, and now we have, well, this game. The good thing is that Chronicles of Riddick, Chronicles of Riddick it was a, a decent game overall, The Wheelman, it was not so great, and now we have Fast and Furious. All these games contain Vin Diesel. What the hell is going on? So I'm almost 100% sure that most of this game was created or at least influenced by his own ad, because this is completely ridiculous, this is all over the top. And this game it is using the Madness engine, which is the engine behind Project Cars 1 and 2. I'm a little bit concerned with Project Cars 3, because this game it is very 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 bad optimized, so Project Cars 3 it is near to its release, and if the engine it is as demanding as it is on this engine, well, it will be a demanding game. Alright, but alright, now that I've talked everything about the performance, I will be talking about the game, and it won't be pretty. So Fast and Furious Crossroads, it is a game that, uh, at first I was actually not seeing what was so bad about it, for example this first mission, it is kind of burnout style, where you can take other, other uh, opponents, and it was fine, I mean, it is clearly a story driven game, because, um, Half of the game it is pretty much cutscenes. And the missions that you do in game, in your own gameplay, are related with the cutscenes and the stuff that you are about to do. So this is not about being a racing game, because you won't be racing in tracks. I mean, you will be, but that's not the main focus of the game. What you will be doing it is small missions, like for example, tailgating a car, or I mean, spying a car, hacking a car, racing on a night event, uh, time trials where you need to go from one point to another, escape the police, so this is just some small examples what you need to do, and all of these are entirely linear, 
And despite you have some sort of open-ended city, um, the entire game it is fully linear. And for me, all these things are entirely fine. Yes, it is a story-driven game. It is not about entirely the race. So it is kind of a need for speed on the run. Alright, but instead of having so much races, it is more focused into the story. And I'm fine with that. If this was at least a long game, but just like Need for Speed on the Run, it is a very, very small game. It is a game that you can probably finish in 3 or 4 hours, easily. And that's mainly because you can't skip cinematics. Because if you could skip cinematics, I mean, gameplay-wise, you have in year 2 to 3 hours of gameplay. Alright. But because you can't skip cinematics and they are actually something between 5 to 7 minutes to 8 minutes, well, that really fulfills a little bit of your time. And the cinematics are offline rendered, which means that they have nothing to do with the game graphics or stuff like that. So, yes, so I think the worst part of this game it is really the time, all right? The time that it takes for you to beat the game, it is too small. And the game it is very expensive. The game costs $59.99 on Steam. I think it's an absurd price for a game that you can finish in 2 or 3 hours or 4 hours. It is too small. And I have no trouble with that in many, many other games. But as long as the games are good, I have no issues with giving a good, uh, good amount of money for the game. But the problem is, this game it is not good. That's the main issue. So, the gameplay... At, this, at first, with this car, it wasn't really bad, it was arcade-ish, it's fine with me, the handling was fine. Although a little bit more forward into the game, the handling of many cars are just really, really, really weird. Look, I loved Midnight Club 2 uh, in the past, but it is true that the handling of many cars on Midnight Club 2, it was just weird. So, it is exactly the same thing. Many cars on this game handles like many other many of the worst cars in my midnight club 2 so it <laughs> doesn't make any sense they are un completely uncontrollable and honestly it it is just plainly bad the the handling of both of the cars the story well i was actually enjoying it it is not really something great it is about a mob story somebody that gets involved with the mob and well you are owning x money to the mob and so you need to get as much money as possible so, yeah, it's that type of story, all right, inside the Fast and Furious uh, lore, where you have Toretto, where you have Michelle Rodriguez, oh, sorry, that's that's her act actress name, but, you know, that's mostly, this game, it is mostly about the story and not about the racing, yes, you still have time trials, yes, you still have... Uh, races in the game but most of the events that do happen it is kind of the events that did happen on Need for Speed on the Run when it was not related with racing and that's what this game it is about it is a story driven game but what does this game does good I'm not really sure maybe the story for people that love Fast and Furious the story is not really the worst part of the game yes the yeah, the voice actors look like they don't want to be there but it is passable though the story it is fine but honestly apart from that i think everything else it is bad because it is an expensive game it is a small game cutscenes are a so so handling it is depending on the cards they are so so and you are about to see, and as you can see on this race the run the handling it is just weird the optimization it is awful it is even more demanding than horizon zero dawn and the graphics doesn't make sense for what it does demand so my recommendation for this for this game it is really not to buy it i think you can enjoy the game if you are seriously a fast and furious fan but keep in mind that this is a very small game and the handling of the cars are are not there, alright? It is just weird as hell and it is bad optimized. But you are free to like the game. I was actually enjoying the game a little bit. Yes, it was bad, but I was enjoying the story. But I mean, $59.99 for this game, it is a big, big off. It's like they are trying to cash grab the fans of the series, which in my opinion... It is that for me for a long, long time. I loved the first, uh, the first movie. The second one for me it was passable. The Tokyo Drift, I loved Tokyo Drift. Honestly, it was my favorite Fast and Furious. I know that probably I'm a minority in here, but I did love the third movie. And all the rest of 
the movies that gone through after those uh, the after the the Tokyo Drift for me it started to be full of bullshit and for me the series died there so despite I did saw the movies I, I don't really enjoy what they have done with the series so yes I guess that's all that I want to talk about Fast and Furious Crossroads hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video and I do hope to see you soon goodbye Dirty, huh? Oh, I'm a sitting duck here. Cam, you gotta get that cop off me. I don't want to do this. God, you're not going to now jail. to get your friend. We're all clear. How you doing, Letty? Just got a few flies to get off my back. Three against one? Sounds good to me. Barcelona PD needs to up there for you. You want me to stop and pull over? That takes care of you. There's two left. Got no backup? Suspect has exited the Via Augusta tunnel. Still heading northeast. Hello? Send my regards to your friend. Just you and me now. What you got? All units are currently busy. We're currently retasking. We're advised. One David 25, could you provide a location update? Suspects are evading pursuing officer. Roadblock, seriously? See you around. Vienna, I'm clear. Let's get these mods done, and then we've got a truck to do so. Okay, we're already at the house. Meet you there.